Okay, so I tried the Nectar CS12. When it works, it's awesome, but it usually doesn't work. And I kind of gave up. Uh, I'm going to return it. Uh, what works for me is TouchOSC. So you have, this is the default logic pad template and just rearranged it so that these guys here on the channel strip view are the same as these guys. And the cool thing is you can just like select your plugin. It's going to show up over there. Let's see, you have a compressor, there it is. And we want uh, this here. So we want to have our threshold here, our ratio here, our tech here. So for this to work, you want to have, let's see, on the Arturia, you want to have every knob in, uh, let's see, there you go, relative number two and control. So I just have like this one as the big one is 102, 103, 104, and the last one is 118. So it's not going to conflict with anything. And relative number two is important for some reason. For some reason. Uh, yeah, MIDI channel, uh, nothing fancy here. So what this does is that when you turn it to the right, it sends, I think, number one CC. And on the left, it sends number 127. And yeah, th this here is just plain awesome because uh, this works along pages. So you have your auto gain here, your makeup gain, uh, then it's your ratio. And when it's a console EQ, now it's your low frequency. And yeah, these are notched. So on and off things kind of work nicely. And you got your low cut here. And these accelerate as well. So when you turn quick, it goes all the way like you want it to. And if you go slow, it works. And I only set up those four because I uh, can show you uh, control assignments. Oh, yeah. Um, I have like these set up through market jumps or through key commands. So in the key commands window, you can assign those guys and the jog wheels. So just turning this like makes the beats go up and down. Also on the other controllers. And yeah, so I have jog wheel, market jumps, one through 16. So that's enough. And for the knobs, uh, if you have Touch OC running, you have a uh, pages thing over here. Sometimes you have more, but uh, you want to have the one with uh, all the five tabs. And tab number three is your channel strip. And there you can look for par one through 16. So uh, let's select a compressor. And just to show you, and now it shows you compressor values over here on the right. So what you want to do is uh, you want to have those here numbered, like I have this 102, 103, blah, 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 blah. So they're all in order. And I'm just going to uh, learn the first one. So let's turn this guy. Okay, let's turn it all the way, actually. So it's B667 low 7. And actually, before we do that, we're just going to copy those guys, par 1 through 16. We just copy them and put them into our own zone. I called it Arturia. And here I'm going to put everything that's uh, where well, I know it's going to be deleted. So par 1 is uh, 67 low 7, par 2 is B6, 68, then 69, 6A, because we're a hexadecimal, and I didn't set up the other ones yet. And the important thing is you want to have 2's complement here and relative. And you want to turn it all the way, the, the knob, so it shows you a low 7, that just means that it's not just catching the last like six bits of the MIDI data, but the whole thing. And if you turn the knob enough, it's always going to show a low seven. And the MIDI device, for some reason, it's going to get deleted whenever you restart Logic or unplug a device, which I'm going to do. So I unplugged my uh, motor fader, and now these guys say any. And even though it says any, it does not work for any, so now these are all, all dead. 
and you want to set them back uh, to um, let's see Artoya here part one you want to set them back up to Artoya and now this guy works and the other ones don't so you have to click all those guys to make them work again and thankfully you can record this on automator so let's just play back my little automator app here so it's going into control surfaces control assignments click 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 part one move this guy click move this one click move it so it's going through all the 16 uh, these ones are supposed to be um, relative and tooth complement uh, I think I'm gonna do it on number 15 and 16. I kind of messed up the recording, but this works. See, and now it's clicking here, two's complement, relative. Okay. And now it's gonna throw an error because I messed up the recording. Okay. But now you can see these guys now are restored. They're working. These are not, because these are set to relative. And now these are working again. So now I can just like go through all my channels here, say, okay, compressor, give me some ratio, uh, give me some threshold, give me some attack. I'm going to put some stickers here so I know that these uh, ones are the blue ones. So you kind of want to have it like this. And you can do this or you move the one uh, on the control so only these ones work and i think these guys on the right because i haven't made them work so here you can move the harmonics dry signal on off color on off frequency so this is nice i think i want to make it work for the equalizer as well uh, but for now i have like channel strip i have a low shaft gain uh, peak one etc so this is gonna work for now and it's an awesome workflow where you just step through your song with this guy I'm gonna set up these buttons here and then you have your markers should be nice